Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I am gonna do a more thorough hive inspection today, I hope. Don't have any gear on here, hopefully they don't get too riled up. But uh, this hive, I took a real quick peek into it about two or three days ago, and I was pretty sure I saw a decent pattern of eggs, but it was all overcast and I wasn't 100% sure. But I'm gonna do a quick look in here, and then I'm hoping to do a, a decent look through these two hives. And you can see the bees right there. You can watch them bringing in tons and tons of pollen on their legs. Not sure what they're getting it off of, but lots of pollen on their legs. So, I'm gonna see what's going on in both these hives. Okay, so I hope everybody is surviving the coronavirus as well as possible and all the social distancing and stuff. But uh, I'm gonna get into this hive, hopefully really quickly and check it out and hopefully confirm my suspicions or hopes whatever and i also have i have a uh, a box ready in case i do a split out of one of my two bigger hives it is early but the only way you can find out sometimes if things work is to give them a try so we'll see what's going on in the big ones as well Now these have been surviving and they've gone through some pretty cold weather so that's why I'm thinking maybe I can make a split in one of these small boxes and have it survive early on. Fairly calm, that's nice. Just taking a peek, see if I got the queen on this frame. No queen, but there's tons of pollen and stuff they're packing into this frame. They got lots of honey stores right here to see them through. They got plenty of rob from the other hive as well though. I'm gonna set this one down. This middle frame is the one that I thought that I saw a decent patch of eggs being laid on it, but I was in a hurry. I got a little more time today. There's still some cat brood there, I see that. I see a larva, a couple larva. Oh, yes, I see eggs. Yes, indeedy, there are eggs in there. I can see them. I'm gonna come around the other side here. Get myself into some better light here as well. Don't know if this will pick up the eggs and the larva in there or not. There's larva. Over here, there's the queen. She's right at the end of my fingertip, right there. I don't know, it's hard to see, but she's right here. Got larva in there. Now, if they just have it, hopefully there's enough nurse bees in here to, to get all that stuff taken care of. Oh, well, definitely a nice little patch of eggs in there and larva starting up. And let's hope for the best. Now on to the bigger hives. That's enough for me on that one. Let me get this box off of here. This one's heavy. Ooh, very heavy. All right, I'm gonna go through a few of these frames. I'm trying my camera positioned a little differently. Nice little cluster there. I'll be able to pull out a frame on the side. Should be pretty simple here.
Got lots of empty comb for egg laying anyway. Set that one aside. I think I'll even move this other one, this end one out here. Little honey stores, some empty comb. Now I can start bumping these over one at a time and checking them out a little better. Cleaning some of this stuff off here. We got here oh, tons of pollen. Tons and tons of pollen on this frame. Highly unlikely the queen would be on here. Cool looking frame though. Sometimes I work without gloves on, but I hate getting stung in the hand. I don't react well. Nice and slow. Oh man, look at the brood pattern on that. Has an awesome, awesome brood pattern. And it's just full of eggs. I mean, full of larvae. It's not all capped off yet. But it's full of larva clear down into here. A nice, tight pattern. This is the kind I could take. If I isolate the queen, I could take something like this for a split. With that frame that has all the... Oh, it's, it's packed up on this side, too. This would be an awesome one for a split. I may actually... I'm going to stick this in a split box. In case I run into the queen. And I, I'm sure that I have enough for a, uh, a split. Now, if I don't isolate the queen, I'll have to check that one heavily, but I'm hoping I can find the queen in here and isolate her. Oh, another pile, a nice brood. Nice, nice. This is, this one's going to explode. Oh, that's all... This hive is doing extremely well. A ton of pollen and stuff. This would be a great one to take for a split. Pollen. Honey stores. I'm going to set this one in a split box just for kicks and grins. I got to double check that one frame there. There has to be fresh eggs though for them to make a new queen. I don't have queens to establish to, to do one right now that way. Okay, so actually I found the queen. She was actually in the upper box already laying eggs. There's eggs all over here and she is right Yes, she was right here I lost her. I want this frame though. It has a bunch of freshly laid eggs on it Perfect for them to make a new queen out of and these are, must be some decent genetics. This bee is doing really, really well. Where'd that little bugger go? Here she is. Oh, she's all right out here in the open. You can see her. She's right there. I'm going to put her right up into the camera lens. But I want to get her into the hive. Okay, so I got her off this frame into the hive. There's a bunch of honey and really fresh eggs on here. This is going into my split. I'm definitely making a split. I'm going to seal that split off, and they're going to another location. And I'm going to wrap this hive up really, real quick, and then we'll get into the, the third hive. Okay, so on my third and final hive, this is the one that had the funky queen cells in it. They, weren't, they didn't have any eggs or larvae or anything in them, but... They had a couple queen cells built. So I'm not sure what I'm going to find in this one. Well, I'll 
out to pawn stores. Must they hashed out a batch of drones, that's for sure. I see a bunch of drones crawling out around now. Well, I hope I see better stuff in the bottom box. I'm not finding any eggs or anything in here. Here's some cap looking stuff, I think. Might be able to breathe a sigh of relief here, hopefully. Unless it's just more cap brood. Could have a laying worker. I don't know. Oh, we done. It looks like cap. There's drones everywhere. See another queen cell here though. Hmm. <laughs> A couple of them actually. I can't see up into the there's a queen cell right in here. Oh there's a queen right here. So I'm gone. Okay, I got a queen in this hive. That's a little better. Right there's a queen. It could be a virgin queen for all I know. And it could have hatched not too long ago. So there is a queen in here. Anyways, at least I have a queen in this hive. She's right there. They could have swarmed. That could be a virgin or a, a virgin queen or just a freshly mated queen. But there is a queen in there. <laughs> So many bloody drones though. I mean if I had new queens I would kill her and I'd requeen this one right now. But I don't have the queens to do it. So I'm not sure if she's gonna start laying or what. But I'm gonna be patient for another week or so. I mean, if she's freshly hatched, I mean, maybe that queen cell I saw, she just freshly hatched out of it. Never know. But I'm going to have to give it the benefit of the doubt for right now. Not like I can requeen it. I'm going to put this back together. I'm going to write this on the calendar. And I'm going to come back out here in like weeks of 10 days depending on the weather, weather permitting, and I'm gonna hopefully find some better, some nice brood pattern on here. I got queens in all three of my hives anyways. Can't complain there. I have made a split, earliest I've ever made a split. And we'll see how that works out. It may work, it may be disastrous. I'm gonna close these girls up. And call it a day for bee inspecting.